Hey guys, welcome to Minute Minecraft. I am here today to show you a couple of simple redstone doors. And they are not simple in quotes. They are very simple to do. You can do them in a couple of minutes if you have all of the stuff prepared ahead of time and the items that you're going to need. I was watching Mumbo's simple redstone doors and couldn't figure out how he did them. He didn't show you how. You can download the world. I'm going to link his video in the description down below. Um, but I thought it would be nice to show you exactly how they are built. Our first redstone door is going to be this super simple redstone door. It's quick. It's easy. It doesn't use a lot of resources. And we're going to learn how to build it. So I have it set up with the same sort of blocks that Mumbo had on his video. So that's why there's wool and iron. You could use any blocks for those. So what you're going to need is four stone pressure plates, four light blue wools, two redstone torches, 14 redstone dust, four sticky pistons, make sure they're sticky, four blocks of iron for the doors, and then about a half of a stack of glass and a half a stack of whatever you're making the floor out of. So this should be easy to build in about a minute as long as you have the resources and the area prepped. So to prep the area, you're going to need at least three high space, one, two, three, above ground, and then you're going to go down two more. You're going to make it three um, wide or wide, I guess, and then six long, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that'll give you enough room to put in this configuration. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down our pressure pads, pressure plates on both sides. So you're going to go to the two in the middle on each side. And that's where the pressure plates are going to be. Two on this side, two on this side. Perfect. I, yours are going to get used up because I'm assuming that you're doing this in, uh, in survival. All right, so we're going to put our wool right here. The first ones that go down are right there and right there. And then we're going to put two more on top of those as soon as we get the redstone dust going. Okay, so utter each of the pads and then one out from each side. So a line of four. We're going to put the redstone dust. Then on top of those blue walls, we're going to put a redstone torch. Perfect. And then we're going to put another blue wool on top of those. And we're going to top that off with redstone dust. It should be lit at this time. All right, now for the door itself. We have two sticky pistons on this side and two sticky pistons on that side. Okay. The sticky pick pistons and the iron. Okay, so at ground level is the first one. Right, and then one on top of that, nice. Oh, actually, you know what? I did that wrong. My bad. That right against that blue wall. So you see the door doesn't encroach any further than the outline. And they automatically are closed. Then you're gonna put your door material on. It'll stick to the sticky pistons, whatever you wanna use for your door, right? Okay, let's see, let's give it a test. Nope, that side's not hooked up yet. That side is. All right, we're gonna get two more pieces of redstone, right? Four, I'm wrong. One, two there, one, two there. All right, it should work. It should be all ready, functional, good. Now we just need to do some quick maneuvering. I guess we could have done this before we put the doors in, but hey, a girl loves a challenge. 
with the door in while the doors or the floor in while the door is open. The last thing that needs to get done then to make it look like Mumbo's is to make a glass archway across in front. This is where you're going to have like the walls of your house or whatever. Right? And then, um, you know, you probably don't want holes in your floor. So you can do that. that so that when you go through, I mean, you're not going to see it anyway. But whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> I don't like seeing holes in my floor. And then this is going to be a wall. Right? You're going to have to find some way to hide that other stuff. And then there we go. If you wanted to, you could even fill in this top layer here. And we're done. This is what it looks like. Completed. Super simple. Super easy. Redstone door number one. Okay, the next door that only takes a couple of minutes to do that we're going to look at is the Etho door. This is what the Etho door looks like. It's got a hole in the center, and I have built it exactly the way that Mambo built it on his video in February. However, I had to cheatsy doodle it because the way that this was originally built... Um, was like this, and you can see what happens. This no longer stays closed the way that Mumbo had it. So I had to figure out how to build it um, without that being issue right there. And I thought about putting three on top, but I wanted it to work kind of the way that Ethos door did originally. So this is the design that I came up with. And um, he designed the video of Ethos that I watched. He had a door that had a design like this. So I wanted to make mine kind of truer to his design. And that way you could throw, like if you're being chased by something, I don't know what, you could throw an ender pearl through here. And uh, you can also stand and look through these. Ah, not there. And look through these little holes too. Like maybe see other whatevers i don't know i don't know it's a cool design it kind of looks like a creeper too anyway this is what we're gonna build and so in order to build this version of etho door etho's door you're going to need three redstone torches 19 redstone dust uh four smooth quartz four stairs a repeater two stone pressure plates, eight sticky pistons, 18 blue wool, three lime wool, two yellow wool, and then a half a stack of whatever block you're using. I'm using the wool, like I said, you don't have to use the wool, but I'm using the wool so that it kind of mirrors what Mumbo did over here. Um, yeah, so that's that. You know what? My redstone amount might be off. Hold on one. Or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You might need twenty. How about half a stack, just to be <laughs> sure? Or twenty? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. All right, let's build this thing. I'm going to start with the two yellow bricks down there that's going to be underneath our doors so one's going to be on this side one's going to be on this side this one's going to have a blue line that runs across here and then we're going to make sure to put that torch there and on top of it the sticky piston and then there's got to be a space right here and then a block don't use glass and this is where the pressure plate is going to be to open the door. So we need redstone dust here and along the front here. And we're going to put redstone dust here, a block, and another pressure plate there. There, there's the door mechanisms. I know. 
you can see, can you see it glowing? Yeah. So that makes sure that it glows. All right. So then we've got to come out one more and go up one on each side. So we're going to come out more, go up one. Boom. Nice. And that's got dust on it on both sides. Cool. And then we're going to start stair stepping up. Cool. Just like that on both sides. And that's going to get sprinkled with dust as well. Right there. Cool. And then, can you see where that piston is? It's over that piece of dust. Let's stick these on here so we don't forget them. Right? And then aim right at the torch. Boom. Right at the torch. Boom. All right. So that's where the door is going to be. Now we're going to go up three. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three. Perfect. So now we just need to add this beat piece of wool on both sides. Boom. Boom. That'll open the second ones from the bottom. And then boom. Boom. The door's almost done, guys. Super easy. Look at that. Uh-huh. So the last thing we need to do is open this guy or put this guy in over here. So we're going to come over one and stair step up. So come over one and then we're going to stair step up. Right? And then boom. And it's going to go right on this one here. Can we get it? Can we get it? Uh, yes! Perfect. All right. So this needs dust, 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 dust. It's done. All we got to do is put the door in. That was super simple. All right, let's, I got, I think I have it in my inventory. No, I don't. Get the door stuff. There we go. So on the bottom and in the middle of the sides and the top is going to be that one. Perfect. Then, then aim for the top of this. Ah, not like, th I mean, actually you could put it like that. Then you wouldn't have holes in your door. So that's another design you could do. I don't like that one as much. I'm going to do it the way I made it. Oh, crap. All right. That one's going to be that. That one's going to be that. <gasps> we broke our sticky piston. It's fine. It's fine. If you had broke it in real life, it would be floating there. And look, we're done. The nice thing about this design, I think, as opposed to this design, is this is redstone that you know, would be showing, you would have to do something like put blocks here in front so it would kind of be, make it a, more of a stepped entrance, right? Whereas this one, you can have a totally solid front. So you're going to use whatever you decided to use for your other material in this. Let's see. So that nobody falls in any holes. Over on this side too. And this is just making it pretty and stuff, right? <laughs> because it, it functions. I, I, oh, I forgot to do this side. It's fine. Don't panic. We just forgot one thing. We forgot to put this so it opens on this side too. And then we need a repeater. Put it in looking this way. You don't have to mess around with it at all. The arrow should be pointing that way, right? And then, ka -ching. I was just testing you. I wonder how many of you said firecracker. You didn't do the other side. Perfect. It's amazing. Right? We want to make sure that all those holes are filled in. Filled in. Not that anyone I know would fall through little holes in the floor, okay? Just get that right out of your mind. That would not be me at all. That, and then we got all that's open. Perfect! And then you can go ahead and put the, you know, build the rest of your house. So this is an Etho door. Thanks, Etho! All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was easy to follow. Love to hear from you. We're going to be making some more simple 
Hopefully they are simple. Minecraft redstone doors in the near future, and I'll see you then. Have a good one.